the rain garden project started about two and a half years ago with Pennsylvania Horticultural Society uh, came to us to look at ways that we could improve the stormwater runoff into the Wissahickon. Stacy Levy is a nationally renowned artist, actually now has even done projects in Japan. Uh, it was amazing to see her come into this, work with the students, come up with creative ways to um, look at stormwater. Springside received a grant that dealt with controlling uh, stormwater runoff. The lower school was involved with creating a rain garden and it was becoming very successful. So they decided there would be something really cool if the upper school students um, could develop something like that. And one of the innovative ways of controlling stormwater runoff is to have that water percolate through a rain garden consisting of native Pennsylvania plants. And so that water will not run off and wind up in the Wissahickon. Instead, it will go through the soil and become a natural part of the water cycle. For many, many, many years, too many years, I mean, people tried to and design ways to get rid of the water, away from the building as quickly as possible. And then, somewhat recently, they discovered that actually we need the water um, and it's a way of recycling. Instead of the water coming down off of the gutters through the downspout and then emptying into an underground pipe, which either runs into a wastewater treatment plant or empties into a pipe that will empty into the Wissahickon, that water now stays in this big basin. This artist's vision was to then use these pipes but actually mimic the flow of water. She designed these concrete sculptures, really, that would receive the water as it came off the roof. It's absorbed by these plants it also percolates very slowly down through the soil and all of that water becomes a natural part of the water cycle rather than contributing to the main pollution um, of small creeks in the state of Pennsylvania which is runoff and all of the things that wind up in the water with runoff, soil, oil, salt. The vegetation is very specifically designed to be able to trap this water and retain it. They're all able to live in a very wet area and as you can see the ones further up can live in slightly drier conditions and the ones right down in the basin can tolerate the most water. This was an independent study with a number of students from the arts and from the science department. Uh, both department chairs uh, picked a few students that wanted to do this independent study and they got to work with Stacy Lee. And it, we like the idea of merging art and science. One of the things about this kind of art is it both has to be functional and aesthetic. 